Let's calculate the square root of the complex number i minus 1. And for this, what we're going to do is calculating the expression in the polar form of this complex number, and from there we'll, we will calculate the square root of the complex number. The complex number is i minus 1 the real part is minus 1 and the imaginary part is 1 times i the point associated to this a complex number is the point p minus 1 1 let's draw the point so here we, here we will have 1 on, and minus 1 on, th on the x and 1 on minus 1 on the y and our point would be minus 1 on the x and 1 on the y and this would be its vector so the module of the complex number z is the distance from the origin to minus 1 1 and that is equal to the square root of minus 1 square plus 1 square. This is equal to the square root of 1 plus 1 equal to the square root of 2. Now let's calculate the argument. The argument for this vector is the angle from x to the vector. Let's call the angle theta and as we can see this angle is from the second quadrant and we have that the tangent of this angle is equal to the coordinate y divided by the coordinate x 1 divided by minus 1 so the tangent of theta is equal to minus 1 and now let's calculate this angle theta of the second quadrant and whose tangent is equal to minus 1 now let's calculate an angle alpha from the first quadrant so that's that the tangent of this angle alpha has the same tangent of theta but as with the, a different sign that is with a plus sign 1 and we should know that at the tangent of an angle alpha if it is equal 1 the angle alpha of the first quadrant is equal to 45 degrees now we have this angle alpha having alpha and reducing the angle theta we would obtain theta the formula for the reduction of from the second quadrant to the first quadrant is 180 degrees minus theta and this is equal to 45 degrees. If it were from the third quadrant, we would have 270 minus theta. And if, if it were from the fourth quadrant, we would have 360 minus theta. So from here, let's get theta that it would be 180 minus 45 equal to the minus theta goes as plus theta and theta would be equal to 135 degrees of course now we have the module that is 2 I mean the square root of 2 and the angle 135 degrees let's write this complex number in its polar form it would be This, the module, the square root of 2 sub 
the argument down here 135 degrees so the square root of i minus 1 would be the same as the square root of the square root of 2 sub 135 degrees and now there's a formula for calculating the square root of a complex number or any root the formula is the root, in our case, square root of the module, that is, square root of 2, sub, everything between a parenthesis, now 135 degrees plus 360k, always the argument plus 360k, as it is a root of index 2, it is divided by 2 where k is will always be o0 or o1 if it were a cube root it would be 0 or 1 or 2 if it were the fourth root it would be 0 1 or 2 or 3 and etc etc and now let's do this for k equal 0 and for k equal 1 Let's erase this to make some space. Now, let's calculate the result with k equal 0. And down here with k equal 1. If k is equal 0, the square root of a square root is the fourth root that is very simple it is the outside root and now the inside would be 2 raised to 1 half that is the square root of 2 and now this can be expressed as 2 raised to 1 half and everything raised to one half as, as it is another square root and multiplying the indexes we will have two raised to one half times one half equal to one to two raised to the f to one fourth and this is equal to the fourth root of this of two and now in k equals zero this would be the fourth root of two sub 135 plus 360 times 0 divided by 2 and that is just the fourth root of 2 sub 135 divided by 2 using the, the calculator 135 divided by 2 would be Sixty-seven point five degrees, and now as the numbers at first expressed on its binomial form, we will have to express it again like this, like the number we were given. So it would be something like this: the fourth root of two times the cosinus of the angle 67.5 plus i times the sinus of the angle 67.5 now let's calculate this with the calculator of course the fourth root of 2 it would be 1 1.189 times the cosinus of 70 67 I'm sorry 0.5 with a calculator be careful to use to use it in degrees this, this would be 0 0.383 plus i 
times the sinus of 67.5. Again, with the calculator, this would be I times 0 0.924. And now, the distributive property, so let's do the multiplication. We would have 1.189 times 0 0.383 it's equal to 0 0.455 plus now 1.189 times 0 0.924 it is 1.099 times i of course perfect now with k equal 1 we would have One hundred and thirty five degrees plus three hundred and sixty times one divided by two. This is the same as the fourth root of two sub one hundred and thirty five plus three hundred and sixty divided by two is two hundred and forty seven point five degrees. And from here using the formula to transform it into its binomic form we would have the result but be careful in our case we have the square root when it is the square root of a positive number we will always obtain a plus minus sign before the number if this complex number raised to 2 gives us i minus 1 if we change this, this, the sign as it is a complex number when raising it to 2 we will always obtain the same number and, and when we do a square root the, the, the result that we obtain is the first one we've got here and the second one will be the same but with a minus sign it only happens when we have a square root be careful with that I repeat that we can use the formula we used before but doing it this way it is much easier so the square root have two results this right here and the same but with a minus sign